Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator for your mid-month. So let's see what is going on in your love life. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. What are the messages for my dear Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising in love? Oh, okay, I knew it. I have, I have the feeling that it was positive for you. Yeah, keep going. So you need to endure in a situation and you know this last month or so there was, I mean you can already know it there has been a storm brooming there's literally storms all over the place everything is shifting everything is changing uh, changing okay and despite it all you need to go against the grain is what I'm hearing is what I'm seeing you need to keep going against the grain uh, even though like this is like the wind full up in your face and there is like a huge wind outside here uh, in Europe so yeah wow look at that the return of the Aphrodite temple birth of goddess guidance goddess energy treating as sacred all right there is something huge that is going to come out of this um, battle that you have been going through or this you know um, I, I get this forceful energy but it's not like forcing yourself against someone's will or something like that, not that kind of like I'm gonna force this to happen in any kind of way no this is this is the universe <clears throat> that has been uh, telling you all this time to keep going even though can you hear the wind? But we still keep on going, right? We still keep on rolling and we still keep on going. So this, these, these moments right now in your life are very contradictory maybe to what the universe has taught you to take on the road, if you get what I mean, if I made myself clear. But there is something that is going to come out of this that is very, very sacred. Oof. And then we got to let it go. Okay, that was just like out of the blue. What this means is that you need to keep on going <clears throat> in bringing out who you truly are and finding your own sacred self by also letting a higher force to take over. Like I said, that wind outside is that higher force that is taking over and we don't know what is going on. We don't know what is going to uh, what it's going to be ending up like uh, I mean I had a beautiful beautiful oak tree with like you know with the um, with the green as, that was always like falling off the tree it was huge and he suffered and he died the same day as my bird died um, two years ago that flew in in the same storm it was very tragic you know in the same day around the same dates as my father had died away then my bird died away and then the tree died and it all had to do with that storm you know she flew in during a storm she stayed with us and then she died and now the oak tree that was so so beautiful also died so like i said there are just a lot of changes that are happening that just are not feeling very comfortable that's why i i, I made the whole situation as it is not comfortable for you to keep on going but at the same time you do need to let go you know you need a drift you need to let uh, a higher force to take charge right now and that's contradictory that's exactly what I use right and and then we get the letting go so that's just a confirmation that is contradictory from what the universe is telling you to do right so you understand what I mean right you understand so you really need to cleanse your energy cleanse your aura don't let anything um, get to you protect your energy as much as you can shadow so we got the moon card here we got the shadow card here sorry guys something was not okay heart chakra and the triumph so you're being tested here you're being tested you've been thrown into the wolves this is the shadow card. 
this is whatever the, the situation is in your life, you are facing all your fears, all your demons, and you have to prove yourself that you can endure to, through this pain, through this hardship maybe, through this uh, uncertainty, uh, not knowing what is going to happen. And at the same time, you need to heal your heart. Heal what is, um, what has triggered you into getting into that fear. What kind of codependency has triggered you? What kind of lies or uh, have you been elusive or have you thought that you were getting elusive? Did you lose sight of your uh, ability to, um, to your high priest? Did you lose sight to your intuition? Intent you know what I mean? Like that kind of energy. It's all peaking for you to heal and to open up and not be afraid of the unknown what is about to come. I'm making it sound very, very creepy, but it's not because you're getting the triumph out of it. So this whole situation has been triggered, has been triggering you for you to face your fears, face your demons, because the triumph is the same card as the chariot. The chariot is being, um, forced forward, <clears throat> sorry guys, is being forced forward by the black and the white swings, which is the good and the bad, all right, which is the shadow, the good and the bad, the light and the dark energies. You get it? We're going deep. <laughs> We're going very deep. I'm going to first draw some tarot cards on this. We're going very deep. So you're going to have a triumph out of this. Yeah, you're being, oh my God, you're being so tested. You know, you're being so tested at this point. You got the nine of fire, all right? Everyone is against you or that's how you feel. You really have been, you know, trying to push yourself forward. This is also a keep going card. The nine of wands is um, a card of, how do you say that? Um, Wow, I've, I lost the word, but it's, it's, it's challenges. These are a lot of challenges that are being put on your path right now. And now I need to know the word. <laughs> I mean, that's also a Virgo trait. Right? Like, we need to know what it is. Like, we need to know strong Virgo placements, I guess. Uh, it's a warrior. All right, is the survivor, is the warrior of, of the energies and you feel attacked, you feel, um, you know, like you can't keep on going, but you are in a position to win, all right, you're, you're, you are in a position to win, but you do need to protect your energies, protect what, what your worth is. If people are trying to take your worth away, you are the Aphrodite, all right, you are the sacred one that has the key to reopen the gifts. All right, five of wands. You're being tested. I'm, I'm sorry, but you're being tested. There's a lot of conflict around you. There's a lot of jealousy around you and you really need to shield yourself. Shield is the, is the accurate word because you got the justice with it. You could be dealing with a Libra, but this is you winning, all right? The justice card is saying that there is karmic justice that is being put into this situation and that you need to have a faith and let go of the situation. Whatever is, whatever is karmically for you will be for you. Do not push it, do not you know, extend your energies. Like I said, you can keep on going, but don't fight it in a nasty way. You get what I mean? Like close yourself off, shield yourself, uh, protect yourself, move away from this kind of toxic energy, jealousy, envy, because there's a lot of envy around you. Justice is here saying that the universe and the spirit is giving you a karmic balance in the situation and you're gonna get your justice most definitely but you you are in control of your own mind to release this and to face your shadow side to face your fears and to face your uh, you know, all this nightmare and all this stress that is coming towards you you need to really protect your energy from that Because you got triumph with the justice card. I mean, like, 
If that is not karma, I don't know what is. You know what I mean? That is just you having the upper hand in the situation, even though it may not seem like that, and it should not seem like that right now. You may look like you're the losing party, but you're not, all right? Beginnings and realization. You will soon realize that after this whole situation has ended for you, there is going to be a new beginning. <clears throat> I don't know if this is about love, but I was intended to do a love reading. It feels like this is a life story, all right? This is not just a love story, this is a life story, all right? <clears throat> You're, see, and you know, the funny thing is, this is a keyhole, and the Aphrodite has a key in her hand, meaning you have the key to open up the doors to a new beginning. If you get yourself out of this worrying state that you have been in. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So whatever has been stirred up with this eclipse seasons, this is now gonna come to a um, full closure of it. And you're going to realize why you had to keep on going and why it was such a worthy journey for you to stay, stick, stick to, you get what I mean? Like you needed to stick to this, um, to this journey for a reason and it's all because of your healing uh, in order to close out these cycles um, a lot of past cycles past life cycles could be coming up to the forefront and you're going to overcome them you're going to move forward all right there's definitely success and triumph and a new beginning for you waiting but you need to to make clear decisions in your head you need to clear out that fog like I've been talking about because you need to use the sermont all right you need to really use the sermont in the situation I seriously hope that this was um, that you know what I'm talking about <laughs> seriously I hope you know that what I'm talking about but I'm sure that you do that was my reading for you guys, so I'm going to continue with the He Says, She Says spread on Vimeo and um, yeah, let me know because this was quite a spiritual reading. I feel like it's a very spiritual reading for you guys and it has much more to do with everything around you, but the heart of the center is the heart. So whatever it is that is in your heart, it's affecting everything around you, but this is going to be a positive outcome. So. I'm going to continue this reading, hold on, keep on going, endure during the battles, during the challenges, and you will conquer, alright? So, you know what they say, throw me to the wolves and I come back leading the pack. Exactly. Bye!